Hello, 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 Aquarius, my beautiful, intelligent water bearers. Welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. I hope you're all feeling wonderful. For those that are new to this channel, including cross watchers, a very, very warm welcome. By the end of this reading, if you do like it, if it resonates, if you feel even just a bit connected to the messages, I do encourage you to subscribe. That way you never ever miss out on a reading that Gigi and I do for you here in Australia every single Friday without fail. Gigi does a reading for you and I do a reading for you and we upload it, obviously not at the same time, separately every Friday in your dedicated playlist, always uploaded from the latest, the newest videos to the oldest ones. For this week, I'll be using the Everyday Witch Tarot and I'll be clarifying with the Gilded Tarot deck. In the description box below, if you just scroll a little bit down, I have put two direct links there. Um, where you can purchase them and be proud owners or owner um, of two or one deck. And I've, along with that, I've put other direct links there of other tarot decks that I still use in this channel. And so does Fifi. We only recommend decks that we absolutely love and that we feel very, very connected to. Um, because it's nice to have modern day versions of the tarot, but they also still need to respect the original tarot, right? Um, so yeah, let me take the selenite off. Now, before I begin, fun very fun and very happy, very positive um, announcement. Our website is live. Our official website is up, including our online master tarot course is available. So thank you for your patience. It's been a very long time coming. I believe there's like around 90 or 91 videos. It's very in-depth. I think there's like nine or 10 um, workbooks that we have created. Wow, we talk about everything. Anything you can imagine, it's in that course right there. It's a very visual course as well. It's 100% online. There's no deadlines. You've got lifetime access. You can download even the videos and the workbooks. And when you finish, you get a certificate of completion. It's a very fun course. We wanted to make sure that it's not just a textbook course. No, it's going to be different. So if you do want to enroll, head to the description box below. Our official website is there. If you click on it, um, it takes you to our website and you can see all the details of our course as well. For this week, Aquarius, I want to talk about the last month of December. Can't believe I'm actually saying that. December 2023. Let's talk about December love magic. What are the beautiful surprises in store for you, Aquarius? My beautiful water bearers. All right, they're just showing me an image of a plane high above the clouds. I think some of you are traveling a bit far. You could be traveling for work or for holidays. Yeah, they're saying that's blessed and you'll be safe. You'll be guided. You may need someone or maybe traveling with someone. But yeah, they're literally telling me <laughs> it's a very literal message. Love is in the air. Show me eight. So the eighth of something could be the eighth of December. Oh, wait, sorry. They're saying two more. I promise this is not just all shuffling, but I only stop until my spirit team, who I work very closely with, um, until they tell me to stop shuffling. Here we go. No, okay, sorry. I thought that was it. They're saying one more. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Bottom of the deck, we have someone that's going to be taking very big action towards you. They're very attracted uh, towards you. They're very passionate about you. They're making a beeline. They're looking at you. They're even talking to the cat here. It's like, mm, see, if I approach Aquarius this way, hopefully Aquarius feels the same. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. The King of Wands is someone that can be an extrovert. They may have the gift of the gab. They're just naturally a natural born leader. They're very passionate, but they only make a move right they only stand up and be the first ones to raise their hand up first if there's something that they believe in and they love they just like i can't stop thinking about aquarius and it is you oh okay this is nice i like this combination because we might be thinking is this person only approaching us because of the physical side of the relationship no this person also is very well balanced with their emotional side the queen of cups pisces cancer scorpio energy this person loves and they love hard they are natural nurturer, very caring. They love hugs. You know, it's almost like this is like a salesperson, the gift of the gab. This is someone nurturing that's like a nurse, for example, or a caretaker, massage therapist. I'm not getting it's two different people. They're just showing me. And how do I know that? Well, it comes with experience and listening to my spirit team. 
That's the physical side and the emotional side. This person absolutely loves you, but they're holding back out of nervousness. Now we've got the mental side of them. Eight of Swords, Gemini Energy. There's listening to their ego, that victim mentality mode. I'm not approaching Aquarius because they'll probably say no to me. So I think this person knows you. Absolutely. Because the plane can also indicate movement. There's change here. Perhaps that's what they want with you, but they're holding back. Oh, yeah, this person loves you. The Two of Cups, Cancer Energy. Ooh, okay. I think they're worried here what you're going to say because that's you. That's Aquarius Energy, Five of Swords. I think you know this person. I really think you do. I'm wondering if you had a falling out with this person. I'm hearing that it could have also been a friend or even a colleague that you know has romantic feelings towards you, or obviously this is just someone else. Mm, yeah, you're holding back. I feel like you're getting a bit defensive over this person, the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy. And there you are. I almost feel like, I don't know, there was a falling out, there was a disagreement, there was an argument. You're holding back. What happened? I feel like there was some rumors and there was gossip. There was something that was done behind your back. And you're like, yeah, no. Now they want to make things right. This person, oof, but they love you. What's going on? What's the energy, please, surrounding Aquarius, the collective watching this? The tower, Scorpio energy. It's fair to say you had a massive falling out with this person. Absolutely. Oof. And it's a shame because I really feel that you're compatible. You really just get along with this person. Like you have your inside jokes. There's no awkward silence. They know what you're thinking. You know what they're thinking. But something happened here, Aquarius, and you probably had a sudden awareness, a sudden realization. And this was like just an unexpected, it came out of left field, a downfall. This, ooh, either I'm hearing either they did something and they completely ended it or you found out something and you completely just ended it. Let's talk about you though. And what's coming in towards you, please, for December is the moon. Pisces, Cancer, Energy. Now is the time to use your intuition, though. There is more to this situation here. Yeah, believe it or not, I know. There's actually more to this situation. And I think here what you just don't like, that there was mysteries, there were secrets, probably even white lies. Maybe your person put you in a third party. This often does indicate a secret romance. They weren't being honest with you, and that leads to dangerous assumptions. But there is more to this situation. There is absolutely more. I do feel that you, yeah, I think some of you still have feelings for this person. Perhaps we're trying to suppress it. It's like, well, they did this to me. You know, if they asked, you know, do you care about this person? And you are Chris is saying, you know, what, I do, but I just, I, I can't go back to them. And that, that's absolutely fair enough though. Um, let's talk about surprises, please. What's coming in, in regards to this person? Four of Wands, who they're coming back home. They're coming closer to you. Four of Wands is um, Aries energy. It does speak of to some capacity, some reconciliation. So definitely a reunion. And I want to talk to you about, suppose, a, you know, a commitment, an engagement, a marriage, changing jobs, changing the residential address, perhaps to be closer to you. But um, here they come. All right. What are you going to do? What's where are you more leaning towards? Or is there any advice? Is the magician Gemini Virgo energy? Wow. One thing that you will not put up with is any form of manipulation. It is very difficult to lie to an Aquarius because you're pretty like switched on. You read people very easy. Um, and I think you're very intuitive here. Some of you are like full on psychic. We're all psychic, but like very intuitive here. I think you're wondering, should, should we even start again? Is it even possible? There's something about this person that has completely um, turned you off. Mm. I think a lot of you are really not in it. It's like, you know, there was lies, there was manipulation. That's the shadow side of the magician. Who's to say they won't do it again? Yeah, I think the advice here is like, ask your person, why are they back? Why do they even want a new beginning? There's a lot more to this. I can't wait to clarify these cards. All right, so what's the unexpected about your person, please? Four of Cups. Ooh, well, Cancer Energy, your person's missing you. And I feel like for you, it's almost unexpected, surprising, because um, a lot of you may have resounded in the fact that they moved on, they didn't care, they're not feeling anything, feeling of a brick, but no, they're pining for you, they're missing you, they're longing for you, they're very melancholic here, and they're trying to find a solution at the bottom of these cups, these chalices, but it's not there. Oof, okay. I think this is why they're prompted now to have this strategic plan to come back, to win you back. 
more please coming full circle Ooh, uh, okay five of cups scorpio energy um i don't know if you're in a position where you want to forgive this person look at that this is when we're mourning and we're crying over the love lost over the death of this relationship often this card is linked when we're feeling very embarrassed guilty or ashamed and i feel for you it's like you're just feeling very bad that you gave this person a chance that you believed in them that you allowed yourself to be vulnerable it's not your fault though aquarius it's i'm telling you right now it's not your fault the empress and the emperor wow they want to give birth to this but i feel like some of you just want to walk away you can't even look at this person split the deck page of pentacles capricorn energy i'm telling you they they want to see you face to face they're probably even going to say to you i learned my lesson but mm, okay this is a very basic blueprint um i feel like this person really hurt you but in doing that they hurt themselves i can see the surprise here that uh, absolutely they want to come back home to you i'm actually hearing them saying it can i come back and for you i think it's almost like that seems very childish or very immature it's probably a bit of a turn off they're missing you that's the unexpected they may act i feel like there is so much more to this situation though i'm hearing that a lot of you don't have the patience for immaturity you know what i actually i don't blame you i don't think anyone would but please aquarius i know it's easy for me to sit here and say it please do not blame yourself you willingly went into this relationship with the best intentions that is beautiful four more three more two more last one here we oh go you stay there <laughs> let's try and make this neat bottom of the deck oh my favorite night knight of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn energy now this is the slowest moving night but in saying that why is this my favorite moving night so the reason why your person wants to offer you something valuable you know something solid that adds value to your life is that they've thought long and hard about this there's nothing impulsive about your person and yes dare i say this the knight of pentacles you know the energy with your person is that they're a lot more loyal practical grounded a lot more mature and they want to take it slow with you as well because i think they know that they're hanging by a thread they're skating on very thin ice because mm, because of what they did you see when i see fives five of wands leo energy five of pentacles taurus energy for me they are like little events or smaller versions sorry that was very shiny of the tower where we and here's another five you know it's like changes challenges transitions and also regret i think your person probably they jumped ship they may have abandoned you and now suddenly it's like they send you a message with that page of wands aries energy about the six of wands leo energy hey i'm back i'm back in town can we meet up they've been planning this though three of wands aries energy it may seem like an accident how they're suddenly back in your life it's not an accident they've really thought about this i'm just what I, i'm really sorry is how they hurt you I think that that's going to not going to be an easy feat to look at your person and not see what they did the tower please is yeah look at that he's around he's cla surrounded he's clarified by the page of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy there may be children involved to some for some of you maybe an age difference that's the student card though so both of you have learned massive lessons here how to put your foot down how to be assertive you know what are your boundaries here that you don't want anyone to cross they want to see you face to face though this is communication messages um, and offers but this often leads to face to face so the energy here is i think that your person wants to talk to you about this downfall how it just came crashing down thanks to them though let's talk about you the moon yeah i think you're tempted it's the devil capricorn energy now you know this is all about what's coming in towards you i do feel that your person is very attached to you i feel like they're very infatuated you're they're pretty much the only thing that they're thinking about is you in fact they may even make an appearance or call you facetime at night perhaps within the next full moon i think they're hiding something though maybe you found out maybe a certain dependency addiction a third party here as well mm. 
I think they want to talk to you about it. Again, there's more to this situation. I think they want to actually come clean. Okay, that's good though. Four of Wands as a surprise is clarified by the Page of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Okay, that's a surprise card. It's interesting because Page of Cups is known as surprise. And it's on top of the placement of surprises. So I feel out of left left field we won't see it coming we are definitely going to have a message an apology messages well pretty much loving messages here they may ask you out they want you hopefully crossing their fingers and toes you'll accept their apology and it represents a budding romance but i feel like they're also very attached to you and i feel like that's kind of like a bit of a turn off for you the magician please yeah Ooh, look at this advice or actions is the ace of cups the card of true love, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, which represents Ace of Cups one month. Again, as I said, the next full moon. They can't stop thinking about you. There's equal amounts, I am going to say it, of passion and also of um, of love. But this is manifesting a new beginning. I, I think here, ooh, you're manifesting something. I think you want more clarity, but your person's kind of manifesting themselves quite aggressively back into your life. They love you. There's no other way to say it. There's emotional abundance. It's being in love. It's falling in love all over again. I nearly lost my voice there. I think a person's throat chakra could be blocked. There's a lot that they want to say to you. I think they're dealing with quite a lot. Some form of toxicity here as well. All right. The Four of Cups. What else is unexpected, please? So we've got surprises. And this is kind of like surprise, but it's more unexpected. Eight of Wands. Sagittarius energy that is the second fastest card or second fastest moving energy in the deck it's quick it's rapid movements it's a sudden flurry of activity again it could show travel like literally overseas I, that's why I saw the plane um, but this is known as Cupid's arrow love messages be prepared Aquarius there's going to be an influx of a lot of messages here so if you do want to hear back from your person if you want to talk to them clear things out Keep your phone near, make sure it's charged because this is a lot of messages all coming toward you. And I feel like I feel like some of you do miss this person, but this is the thing. If you miss them 10 out of 10, they miss you like 100 out of 10. <laughs> um, they're going to let you know that. I think they're also going to try and manipulate the conversation. It's like, I miss you. I'm sorry. Like, I did it because of this. But um, they know that they have to be very straight with you. Five of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Wands. Sagittarius Leo Aries energy. Messages, changes, offers and transitions of the passionate kind. So here they come. Like I said, it's often known as Mr. or Mrs. Wright, the knight in shining armor. I think the only thing you're not sure of is that you're probably seeing them as a bit of a player, a bit impulsive, a bit immature. Here today, gone tomorrow. Yeah, Five of Swords, that's you. I don't think you're trusting them. Perhaps you're seeing them a bit selfish, a bit of a bad attitude. Split the deck. Ooh, clearly they want the Ten of Pentacles with you. Virgo energy. That is the, you know, pretty much the dream life manifested. One more. I think I will actually take out three cards from the um, Romance Angel Oracle decks. So we've got the Six of Pentacles. Okay, that's uh, Taurus energy. So it seems I want to balance everything out between the both of you. But I'm hearing at one point they just don't know how to. They don't know how much they can get to you. Thank you. No, they're saying not that one. Okay. All right, we got two. We've also got very soon that came out. So, yeah, see, clearly decide what you want so that it happens, um, comes to you now. We've also got finances and career. I think your person could be really fixated on that. That could be the devil. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here, especially your person's really feeling that. I just feel they're very attached to you. They literally can't stop thinking about you. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, followed by flirt. Extend, oh, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Mm. Yeah, I, for this card, for me, I pick up more about it's time to have perhaps a bit more fun and all this. Let me split the deck, please. Passion. Yeah, that's the physical side of the relationship. I know some of you may be questioning. Well, I hope they're not only coming back because of that. Let's get let's get one more card. Thank you. Wow. Okay, so that's quite passionate. Ace of Wands. It's a very passionate card. Yes, your person may be thinking only about the physical side of the relationship, bottom of the deck. Eventually, yes, I'll get to the point. They want to commit to you and only you. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I think you're going to make a quick decision about this person. 
High Priestess. Trust your intuition. Pisces energy. They're about to reveal a lot more here to you. I kind of understand why you're on the fence, I suppose, with this person. They do want to fix things. That is quite genuine. But there's this fixation they have with you, this, I don't want to say obsession, it's like infatuation. Yes, they're attached to you. They can't pretty much stop thinking about you. They're trying to manifest a brand new beginning. I see here, if you're still a bit unsure, this conversation, this unexpected conversation will up, or actually open up doors for you. That's what I'm seeing. Absolutely, it will lead to some clarity here. And I see that they're going to come back very soon. And eventually, of course, they're going to offer you this. We have the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. All right. Here they come. Here's the, um, the surprise message that they want to come back home to you. All right. Aquarius, thank you for joining me. Um, your time is always very much appreciated. I will see you next Friday. And always remember, never, ever change for anyone. I love your energy. You're super intelligent. You always find a solution. Power to you, Aquarius. I'll see you next Friday. Bye.